Today's environmental challenges can divide or bring together a community. Here we are today with several hundred people out here planting in the stream. I really like being here because of the community and like how the community is coming together to help our earth thrive. On the western shore of the Chesapeake Bay, the biggest danger to water quality is stormwater runoff. This is Cattail Creek. It's the largest creek stream in Anne Arundel County, save the Patuxent and Little Patuxent. And runs through a lot of urban development uh, that's happened historically as well as new urban development that's occurring. I'm a longtime resident of Berrywood. Our creek had become highly degraded over time. This was a deeply incised vertical bank ditch. I raised my sons here on the creek and we really enjoyed the quality of water and the fun we had in it, and that was gone. As roads and neighborhoods were built on the shores of the rivers, nature's natural areas disappeared. One of the first things that I thought of when we moved into this community, the water quality was not good. Cut all the trees down, smooth the soil out so there's runoff. Along comes the bigger storms that are more flashy because there's no trees and leaves to allow stem flow to trickle that water down to the landscape. A little bit over a decade ago, the community of Berrywood recognized that their stream was not healthy. The community was very interested in doing something with the stream because of the condition of the stream and because the parking lot was falling in. What could a neighborhood do to protect their water accesses and access to green space? About 15 years ago, as the county was beginning to do ecosystem restoration projects, communities began to be excited about the investment that they could make, the ways that they could help clean our waters and streams. We were really enthusiastic about this project because it was one that was completely community-led. And they did the organization around getting the funding and getting good partners. I'm retired now. I wanted to do something for the community, something for the place we live, Berrywood, and, and for the earth. I was motivated to try and bring it back because I have grandchildren and I want those grandchildren to enjoy it. Motivated citizens lacked a way to fix the problems that growth had caused. The Berrywood community back a dozen years ago actually tried to get this project off the ground. Initially there was some skepticism, will there be mosquitoes? Are we taking too much of community property for this project? Will it be sustainable? They didn't have a trained and dedicated community leader to get the community buy-in that it takes to do a project like this. They had to have an understanding of what was going to happen because this is our recreation area. It's an asset to the community. Local government needed help and citizens wanted action. Arlington Echo and Department of Public Works realized three important things. The first thing is that people really want to make a difference. The second thing is they have no idea how to get started. And the third thing is there are not enough resources within the government to really get every single great project off the ground. Ron Bowen, who was in this project from the beginning, way back in 2005, uh, is the chief of Department of Public Works in Anne Arundel County, had this vision of working with communities, finding grant money, finding people that were interested in the community, and bringing all those pieces together in like public-private partnerships. Watershed Stewards Academy is a nonprofit organization that trains and supports community leaders to coordinate environmental restoration. We're now in our 10th year, actually started right here on this site. A star-building galaxy of producing environmentalists. They led this project. They were the, the ones that managed the funding from the trust fund. This was the pilot project to clear the air on ecological restoration projects. If there's moving parts, and things you need to take advantage of, 100 decisions a day, and it's like we need the great communicator. Well, here in Anne Arundel County, two-thirds of our land area is privately held. So homes, businesses, churches, communities. Governments really cannot access this land without citizen stewards, without a local champion to make a difference. A few years ago, the community got Molly LaChapelle trained, and at the annual conference for the Watershed Stewards Academy, she talked to some funders about this project, and the rest is sort of history. With a new community association board and some reinvigorated interest, we were able to provide some grant funding along with Maryland DNR to build what's really, I think, going to be a showcase project. 
Conventional solutions wouldn't do for this community. They wanted to create a water access and increase fish passage for the yellow perch. Underwood and Associates really designing an amazing state-of-the-art project really showcases a true ecosystem restoration. It's taking a stream that's been totally degraded and bringing it back to the way it was in nature. It really came together well. The living shoreline, pieces of the stream restoration, bioretention elements, I mean, it all fits. It's not a storm drain, it's not a culvert, it's not cement. It looks like you're walking through the woods. It's the ecology of this environment. We call this approach regenerative design. Begin the process of restoring the geology and the soils and then the hydrogeology, the way water moves through the landscape to store it so that it feeds back into the stream and the droughtier months. This is an opportunity really to provide some treatment, hopefully that will help mitigate some of those historical land use impacts. The project was tested within weeks after completion with two and a half inches of rain in just a few days. The rising waters swelled into the floodplain just as designed while treating the polluted runoff coming from upstream. That allows then that surface water to convert to groundwater because it picks the water up in the landscape, soaks back into these lenses of sandy soils so that that water is then able to leak back out into the stream and feed base flow during the hot summer months. With the installation of a soft shoreline and the restored stream, the community now has a place to connect with nature. It's where I think people really want to have a refuge from all the busy traffic noise and all that kind of stuff. Regenerate all of the life ecosystem in this little niche here of, of heaven. Because we only have like one earth, instead of being stuck up inside like on our computers or Xboxes, we have the opportunity and chance to go outside and make the world a better place. One of the big benefits of this project, community came tighter and closer together, kind of galvanized around this project. With them now getting to be involved with growing plants and doing this fun activity and being outdoors. My son, he's 11 now, will have the joy of coming down here to a, a restored shoreline, playing in the sand, catching frogs, um, catching fish, and having the kind of experience that I had growing up. Our neighborhood is like more connecting, we love each other, we look out for each other, and today we're just coming together and doing something great for everybody else in the nature. And we have a stream that can clean and cool water and really feed Cattail Creek with some nice clean water. From a technical standpoint, we connected the stream up to the floodplain, but what's perhaps more important is we connected the stream back to the people. Mm -hmm.